going to do a, um, a video on a tape recovery. Um, there's been some interest in one of my uh, audio cassette tapes I have for the TI, and I want to be able to um, let's see which one is it. Mm. And this is not. It's not in this one. It's in the other one. Um, so what I want to do is I want to be able to take this load it into the computer, save it to disk, and then transfer it via serial over to my PC. So, I'm going to get started. It's actually the uh, SAMS um, graphics and sound um, tape that goes with the book by the same name. So anyway, I will uh, be back with you here shortly. Alright, here is the proper tape. TI-994A graphics and sound. And I've got my tape player hooked up here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to load this thing up just to see if it still works. I've never uh, never tried this tape out. Um, I didn't even know I had it, <laughs> actually. So, anyway, here we go. The first thing I'm going to want to do. Uh, now that we've tested out the program and see that it works, is we need to format a new disk since we have brand new disks. Disk commands, initialize new disk for. And I'm doing this off my Disk Manager 2 cartridge there. So, all right, I'm initializing a new disk here, and it is running through the sectors and letting me know if I have any bad ones. Um, I'm going to save the cassette programs onto this disk. So, I'm actually I could I didn't have any success initializing the new the new five and a quarter. So I'm actually initializing a new three and a half, specifically for the graphics and sound programs here. Okay, there we go. Now I I did it as a single sided single density because um, I'm not going to need any more than that for this particular disk, and my disk manager's having problems handling a double sided double density. <clears throat> of course, these are high density, but that's not going to matter here. Um, so anyway, now that that's done, we can go in and we can uh, load our program back up from cassette. And uh, then we can um, save it to disk, and then we can transfer it over. So hang on tight. Okay, OLD CS1, cassette 1. Rewind the tape, it's rewound. Press enter. Press cassette play, then press enter. Alright, now it's going to read them again. And it should be starting now. There we go. Again, I don't know if you can hear that through the video, but it sounds like a fax machine. Cassette tape is, um, is a uh, format that's not widely used anymore, obviously, but back in the day, um, it was, in some cases, the only method of saving and loading programs that we had. Um, okay, press cassette stop, then press enter. Okay, let's make sure that it loaded properly. All right. Cool. So we know that program is working. So now let's save that. Actually, you know what? Let's see what let's see what it looks like first. Let's see what this program looks like. I'm sure it's a pretty short program. Very cool. Awesome. 47 lines. Good stuff. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's save disk2.gs1. I'm sorry. gs1. And that is graphics and sound 1. Now it is uh, accessing my disk2 there. And it looks like it was successful. And so to make sure 
to make sure that it was, we're going to quit and extended basic again. Okay, now OLD disk two dot GS one. Okay, it's cool. So we've done a conversion. We have converted from tape to disk, which is a little better, but now we're going to do the transfer from disk to digital. Okay, I have transferred 27 of the programs off of this, and I'm in the process of doing my um, serial X modem transfer. This is the program called M MFM, running on the TI. And I don't know if you can see this because it's dark, but I do have a serial cable running from my RS-232 all the way into a USB port on my PC. So this will show exactly what this is showing at all times, for the most part. Um, so here's how we do it. We, uh, the TI in this case is the host, so we're going to do D, download from host. And as it does stuff here, default pat, uh, disk two, that's what we're saving it to. So disk two, file name. And as it's doing it there, it's also popping up the same over here. So I could actually type this in whether I'm um, sitting at the PC side or sitting at the TI side. So file name, we're on, uh, we're on the sixth one. I've already transferred five. So graphics and sound six. And it checks my disk two for it, see if it's there. And it is, so we have to start the download here. So up here at top. See if I can show you. Download. We're going to want X modem. And it's going to be called GS6. Let's pick where we want it. Desktop. And I've got a program or a file called SAMS. And then hit OK. And it's transferring. Successful. So, very cool. <clears throat> and it shows the same thing over here. So, okay. All right, there comes the carrot. Now let's run it and see if it is successful. Boom. perfect. And that is how we do it. So, um, they asked me if I want to draw it again, we'll say no. So that's it. Essentially, uh, we have just transferred six, I think six so far, um, six programs from the tape, and they're now on this emulated format. I will be able to um, put these on my website tonight. <laughs>